Now guys, before we start this video, I have joined Rumble, a newish video sharing website that I will be uploading my videos to alongside YouTube. The link will be down in the video description along with all my other social media links if you want to support me over there and of course on the other social media channels. But on to the topic of today's video, which is everyone's favourite Scotsman, Ian Blackford. The independence pushing pillar who stands next to old fish lip sturgeon when it comes to stupidity. Well, he doubled down on his stupidity yesterday by going after some poor photographer on Twitter. The reason for this was he thought the Englishman had gone up to Scotland against dear leader Sturgeon's orders. We Jimmy Cranky and a deranged little rodent Ian Blackford have gone full North Korea in recent months. Something I have pointed out, even telling bumbling bullshit of Boris Johnson to hold his beer which given his actions this year is no mean feat. The Englishman in question is a photographer, like I said, moving to Scotland for work, so completely fine, even under their batshit crazy regulations. But after tweeting out attacking this guy, Ian Blackford was lambasted on Twitter, forcing him to delete his tweet like the snivelling shit weasel he is. The Daily Record covered this, so we will gloat about it here. It headlines. SMP's Ian Blackford slammed for trying to shame photographer breaking lockdown rules. The Westminster group leader demanded a photographer explain himself on social media for posting a picture taken in Calf Ness as he believed he was from the south of England, showing that he thinks he is leading the fucking Stasi or something, telling people if they're from England they are not welcome in Scotland. Well, I guess our money is not welcome in your pocket then, you complete and utter tosspot. And let's be honest, the UK is paying for Scotland because of you fucking idiots. All you ever do is spunk it down the toilet on pointless crap. Which actually makes me kind of want Scotland to get independence just to show these clowns for the utter disaster that they would be. The levels of austerity and poverty in Scotland after independence would be biblical under these tosspots. Or should I say under anyone because of the amount of money they have wasted and the debt that they would be in. But it goes on, MPE in Blackford has been slammed after trying to shame a photographer he believed was breaking lockdown rules. The Westminster group leader demanded Ollie Taylor explain himself after posting a picture taken in Calf Ness, as Blackford believed the man was from the south of England. In a tweet now deleted by the SNP's Westminster leader, he said, As you live in the south of England and travel to Scotland is only permitted for reasons, I am sure there will be a valid reason as to why you are posting a photo from the north of Scotland last night. But Twitter users were baffled at how Blackford could be sure of the man's situation, as his profile does not state where he is from or where he is spending lockdown. And also, what the fucking hell has it got to do with Ian Blackford, the worthless tosspot? At the end of the day, it's not his job to police people and where they are. Let's be honest, he is their Westminster leader, so he has fuck all to do with what goes on up in Scotland. And others felt the politician's approach was inappropriate and he shouldn't have exposed the photographer to his huge 99.8 thousand followers. One person said there are many sensible ways to approach alleged rule breaking and none of them involved quote tweeting a random member of the public to your 100,000 followers. They do if you're the jumped up tosspot SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford. And you know it will be supported by the party at large because he is anti-English and so are they. Taking it to the Englishman is what the SNP really want because at the end of the day they are under our thumb. They are the puppet government of Westminster and nothing more. A second person said it amazed me he thought it's right to tweet in the first place but you'd also think his phone might be going with a little bit of advice from within his party. As I just said, I'm sure they would fully support it. A third and fourth person said this sort of behaviour is what the witch trial accusers revelled in, and I'm normally on Ian's side, but that is cringeworthy. Oh, so that there happened to be an SNP supporter, it would seem. And even they are turning against this snivelling shit weasel for attacking this photographer. The senior politician was even branded a bully by Scottish Liberal Democrats Willie Rennie, who asked him to apologise for his comments. Well, I'm sorry to say the Scottish Liberal Democrats are even less relevant than the Liberal Democrats here. And after their pathetic piss poor performance last year, they are not relevant at all. Because I'm still waiting to see Joe Swinson, the next Prime Minister. Something we are never going to see, let's be honest. Rennie said Ian Blackford should apologise immediately this blundering tweet which accused a private citizen of breaking the travel restrictions when he had no evidence of him doing so. Blackford, a senior politician, has picked on him and bullied him because he thinks he's English. Other people on Twitter have shown that Blackford is wrong to accuse this private citizen. 
I think it's time to apologise. And I would have to agree 100%. And that is the reason why Ian Blackford did it. He simply did it because he is English, or at least he thought he was. That is all that mattered to him, attacking the English. Because he's too piss poor and weak to do it in person. Of course he wouldn't though, he just talks a load of shit and attacks people on Twitter where he thinks he'll get a few likes and a retweet here and there. And obviously other people have told him he's a tosspot, well they didn't say that, but essentially they're saying the same thing as everybody else. He was contacted for comment but he's just gonna bury his head in the sand and ignore it until it all dies down. But as we all knew, Ian Blackford is a bit of a coward, that is no surprise there. Attacking people on Twitter is all he's got while he sits there sponging our money. What a complete and utter wank stain. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. 